good friends, Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a product line from Extreme Solutions. They will cater to the professional, the amateur detailer, the enthusiast, the driveway detailer. And when it comes to your needs, they will satisfy them when it comes to basic cleaning from just washing your car, all the way to the other end of the scale, of ceramic coatings and aftercare, and absolutely everything in between. But when it comes to the customer service, don't get me started on that. They are fantastic. So without further ado, today we're just going to lightly touch upon some of the products and skip through the, the line of just basic cleaning and detailing. And down the road, I'll uh, introduce you to the ceramic line, the polishing and compound line, and everything they have to offer. And I think you'll be very happy. Everything is easy on the wallet. It's easy to get. As I mentioned before, if you need help or have questions on the products, the customer service is fantastic. Let's get this video going. Extreme Solutions, a true one-stop shop for all your detailing needs, from car shampoo to interior cleaning products to polishes. We're going to skim through and take a look at just a few. Here we have a tire that has a ton of buildup, just dirt and grime. And we're going to take a look at one of their hardcore cleaners. This is Extreme Solutions Extreme Degreaser. We'll cut it five to one. We'll layer the tire, let it break up that dirt and grime, which can be quite a chore sometimes to remove. And you'll see with just a little bit of agitation, uh, we'll be able to remove that and prepare it for either a tire coating or dressing. As we let it dwell for a bit, I did want to bring you in close to let you see it breaking down the dirt immediately, dripping down onto my nice clean floor, but hey, what can you do? I don't have a pressure washer, so what I do is I'll agitate the area. Just, you know, I don't need anything hardcore. The, the products do the work for me. I don't have to, um, you know, stress myself and do a lot of hard labor when you have quality products such as this. So just a light agitation. And I have a no rinse solution all ready to go and that's what I'll use to sort of rinse and neutralize the product and I can remove it properly without a ton of runoff and that's key in my shop. I mean, it would help if I had the little pump sprayer pumped up and ready to go but uh, yeah this is all I really do just a little bit of a mist onto the surface. And that's how I clean tires, wheels, wheel wells. I usually park the car on top of a tray so it catches all that, that I can get my wet, uh, my uh, wet dry vac, pull it over, clean out that area. And this is really all the moisture you'll have. It's most of the dirt, really, that uh, came off of the tire. Then I'll take some old microfibers that I have ready to go, dry it up, mop it up, mop up the rest of the dirt, and it will be perfectly clean and ready for a dressing or a coating. Hey, now that it's perfectly clean, let's stay with this tire and I'll show you the Glacier Tire Dressing. And I'll show you two of them on this tire. Uh, the first one here, and this is their tire dressing applicator. This is really the only thing that I don't care for, for from the, the whole line itself. Even, even though it seems handy dandy, those little fibers tend to, to, to come off that little applicator and kind of get stuck in the perforations and the, the lettering of the tire is really a pain. Uh, so I'll just switch over to my foam applicators that I favor, real cheap ones, uh, you know, under a dollar. You can get them anywhere. But the Glacier here is is really good. It will, It's great because you can let it go if you just want to put it on heavy, and it will give you a nice sheen. But if you like the new tire look like I do without that uh, shine or sheen, then I'll just drag lightly a microfiber over the um, applicated area and just kick it back a bit and when that cures it is perfectly just the way I want it and on the other side what I'll do is I'll grab the other um, dressing and we'll put it on the other side we can compare the two
that's the way I like it. That's the way I prefer it. But on the other side, we're going to apply longevity. That is a thicker, more viscous, uh, more tenacious tire dressing that hangs on there a little bit longer. Now I have my favorite foam applicator. Uh, just one stripe all the way across the applicator gets you a quarter, halfway around the tire thoroughly. Gets everything um, applied in between the lettering and the designs on the tire. Real easy to manage and apply. Now we can compare the two side by side. And since I have a car in here where a customer likes the, the look that longevity will give you, uh, along with the durability, that's what I applied to his tires, and this is what they look like cured. When it comes to leather, um, I have a leather seat. Uh, it's been sitting out for quite some time. It has a buildup from, you know, whatever Mother Nature can throw about it. Plus, the sun's been really harsh on it. It needs to be conditioned and cleaned at the same time. So that's when, you know, we'll reach for the leather magic. That's what we have here. And it is a cleaner along with being a conditioner. Uh, you can use a microfiber towel. I have an applicator here. Massage it into the area. Then I will follow up with uh, another clean microfiber to mop up any dirt I um, could have, you know, dislodged from the seat itself or the cracks or within the threads. Pick that up and leave the conditioner behind the protection, and you'll see the difference we make here in this little section. If you leave any high spots behind, that's what it'll look like. Just grab a microfiber, mop those up, and the area that you condition and clean, um, it doesn't look greasy and slippery and obnoxious as you can see here. It's restored and it's healthy again. When it comes to floor mats, after they're perfectly clean, we like to reach for a product that'll get the, the mat the rubber looking dark and rich and have a deep color again. So that's where we reach for a white rally and mist it on the tire very lightly. We'll let it sit there for a couple minutes and then come back and just dab and sort of just dab up whatever is left behind and it'll be, you know, a nice dark rich color without being so slippery that the customer goes into brakes and flies up under the dash. When it comes to plastic trim, doesn't matter if it's black or gray, reach for Restore. That'll take care of textured or flat, perfectly flat plastic trim around the grill, underneath the air dam. Here I'm going to treat around the license plate. It's just really dried and beat up, um, really damaged from UVA, UVB. And we can restore just little areas like that with uh, this product here. And I'll probably even get underneath at the air dam and the plastic pieces in the grill as well. Plastic or rubber panels, vinyl panels, um, door panels, interior trim. After they're clean and you want to dress them up, you want to condition them, um, you want to bring the color back, you can use these two products right here. One is for matte finishes, satin finishes, the other gives a higher gloss. I have three areas masked off and we'll test 
uh, two of them and leave one as a control. The first one here we're going to treat with one that gives a little bit of a gloss. You don't really need a lot. Just mist a little bit onto the surface and have a microfiber nearby to just dab the area, pick up any high spots. And it really does leave a nice dark rich area left behind. Not obnoxious, shiny, greasy shiny. It does feel natural. It doesn't dry, slippery or anything. It's just a little bit more glossy than the satin that I'm going to show you right now. Let me remove the masking tape. You could take a look at the control area. It hasn't been treated at all. And then the satin finish. And then the, the area that's just a bit more glossy. They have many compounds and polishes uh, to satisfy all your needs. We're going to just grab three of them that uh, can cut. They have some that have SiO2 that can polish, that can finish. We'll grab the microfiber, uh, Eurofiber 5050 pad and the dual action polisher. First, we'll take a look at the uh, 416 cut, uh, 1500, and three pea size drops on the pad. We have a little test area masked off, and I'll show you what it can do. There are many layers of imperfections from uh, love marks to swirls to scratches that are through the clear down into the base coat and down into the metal. Of course, it's not going to be able to remove them. We don't want to go after We don't want to cut that deep, but uh, I'll show you what it can do with just a crisscross pattern, which equals two passes. Okay, had I thought ahead just a little bit, I could have had a microfiber right there. So let me go fetch one. We'll remove the residue, and I'll grab you guys, bring you in close. And you'll see it took care of everything we needed it to uh, remove. All those lighter imperfections, the moderate imperfections, the ones down through the clear, of course. We're not going to be able to get those. But the thing that impresses me is how all of these finish down with no dusting. They're easy to use, have a long cycle time and hey the residue comes off rather quickly and easily you can see how it even gives the area uh, a darker richer look on this blue panel i'll mask off another one we'll take a look at the wonder cut uh, 1000 a little bit more aggressive and again three more pea size drops on the pad and we'll get to work with the uh, we're going to use the Eurofiber pad throughout here just keep everything the same and again another crisscross pattern which equals two passes and we'll see what um, what kind of improvements we can make
All right, good enough. Let me remove the residue and I'll grab the, uh, the camera, bring you guys in closer using the shop lights, um, give you an idea of, of what this compound can do as well. Easy to see what has been removed and what's left behind, but uh, even more impressive the gloss that it leaves behind. Okay, it looks like I have time for one more. Let's take a look at the microfiber cutting cream and polish. We're going to stick with the Your Fiber 5050 pad. I have another area masked off here with many levels of imperfections and damage. So when teamed up with, with the Your Fiber 5050, I love this combination here. It gives you the cut you need to remove uh, minor to moderate imperfections and then also be able to finish down and give you the gloss and clarity that you need before protection. Not quite as aggressive as the other two, however, it finishes down much further for you. And for the final thoughts segment of the video, Extreme Solutions uh, from New Jersey, not too far from me. Uh, the product line will take care of everybody's needs no matter what it is. They have um, a solution. Uh, for just about every problem that could arise taking care of your car, truck, or motorcycle inside or out. Even your boat, your RV. Um, if you have any questions on the line, don't hesitate. We just skimmed the surface today. I do want to cover the ceramic line, their compounds and polishes, and get deeper into the product line because they have something for everyone. Uh, the customer service, again, fantastic. Everything is easy on the wallet and just more importantly, user friendly. So Brian from Apex Detail, I'll catch you guys in the next video.